Hi everyone, welcome back. Look at what arrived today, my Sephora order. It arrived early too, which was such a nice surprise. I cannot wait to dive into all of this newness. Today's video is in partnership with Sephora and Magic Link, so a big thank you to them. The Sephora savings event is still on, so it's your chance to get 30% off all of Sephora collection. Rouge members get 20% off, VIBs get 15% off, and insiders get 10% off. But I cannot wait another moment, so before we get into it, I would love for you to subscribe if you haven't already, and let's get started. So I have most of my base on already, but I'll have everything I used listed and linked in the description box. Um, but what's first? This. The new Pat McGrath pink under eye powder. I'm super excited and I forgot that her products come with these little sequins which I'm personally excited about because I'm a crafty woman and I saw someone crochet with these. She made like a really cute skirt and I'm thinking of doing the same because I'm going to Mexico soon and I think I could create a cute little set so I will be saving all of these. Yay for empties videos because I always have little containers on hand. <laughs> Got them all. Okay. Oh wow, it's like much lighter than I thought it would be. I thought it was going to be a little bit more pink. It just nearly looks white. Okay, I pulled out my white one, so it does look pink. My eyes just needed to adjust to it. So I don't have any powder under my eyes yet. I was saving for this moment. The concealer I used today is the Tower 28 in the shade DTLA. So I'm just going to flatten and blend out the little bit of concealer that's settled. And I'm going to take some on a powder puff. And let's see how this is. I used to apply this with an eyeshadow brush, which I will do on the other side. Let's do that. Ooh, really nice and brightening. I'm just going to sweep away the excess. So here's a side-by-side -side difference. What do we see? I feel like it may not be pink enough for my tastes. I'm going to go with an eyeshadow brush on this side. Already I like the application with a powder puff better. Yeah, I feel like it was more brightening and evening. So, just gonna slap that on there real quick. Here it is next to the Huda Beauty Cherry Blossom Powder. I love this powder, don't get me wrong. I was just hoping for just a little bit more oomph. I'm putting mascara just to finish off my lower lashes here now that I set my under eyes. Also, I did buy quite a few hair products. I will be doing hair last because I think the best order to get ready is makeup hair outfit. But usually when I'm filming, I do hair makeup outfit just so I look presentable in most of my videos. Damn, I'm having the hardest time with this packaging. Um, I now have the House Labs blush. Also, there are people who argue out there that outfit makeup hair is best. What if I drop makeup on my outfit or all the hair I'm shedding when I do my hair is gonna get on my outfit? Like, no, that doesn't work. That's crazy. If you do that, I'm sorry, but I'm judging you hard. <laughs> but with peace and love, okay? So House Labs brought their blushes back. Thank goodness, we all thought that they were going to be discontinued, but they're not. But they're at a way smaller size, and the packaging has been changed up a little, which I like. I like how the front matches what's on the inside, and it doesn't get all gross and fingerprinty like this one does here. So you can see the size difference in the pan here as well. Like this is a huge lump of blush, like it'll take anyone a very long time to get through this. I feel like this is a more typical size that we're used to seeing, so I get why they did it, but it is fun to have a huge wad of blush. <laughs> but anyways, I got the shade Watermelon Bliss, which is a gorgeous red. It looks very, very pigmented. I'm going to check this out, let's see. I'm just going to put some on the back of my hand so I can gauge how pigmented it is and the answer is very. So I'm just going to take a light amount of that. I love a red blush, but all of my red blushes are creams. And sometimes you want a powder. I guess I have the Dior in Cherry, but it's not the type of red I need. Like this is a little bit more of a bluish red, whereas Cherry from Dior is quite orangey but I needed like a true red like this. This is nice. Ooh, that is very, very nice. 
I am beyond pleased with this color. I don't wanna stop applying it. I love this, especially because I'm starting to gravitate towards more true reds for my makeup since the weather's warming up. Oh, this is lovely. The next thing I picked up is a fresh freck, freckle maker. <laughs> I'm super excited to have a fresh one because my other one was getting really gross and old and congealed. I was like, that can't be good. And I've been taking my powder puff to stamp them because this is a staining product and I don't like to have like little freckles on my finger all day. So I just stain my puff instead. And now the rest of the things are hair and lip products. So let's do a little lip product roundup. I did decide to throw in a few more products last second. I grabbed another one of my favorite Tower 28 multi-liners in the shade Work of Art because mine was getting a little tiny. And look, they, they kind of are different colors. So that kind of concerned me. This is the one I have. Now let's see the new one. I hope that they're the same. Are they different? They, they look a little bit different to me, but not that big of a difference. Don't change a good thing. I'm scared. I went for a lot of lip liners, apparently. I also picked up this one from Sephora Collection. This is the Rouge Gel Lip Liner in the shade 01 The Nudist. Ooh, I like that. It's very cool. Then I picked up two from Freck. These are the Makeout Club Nude Muse Lip Liners. I grabbed the shade four and three. This is three. Ooh, that's exactly the formula I was hoping for. It's very whipped and soft feeling. Ooh, that's nice. That's so, so nice. Very similar to the lipstick formula that I love, but in lip liner form. And there's the shade four. Oh, my nose is itchy. I have like a, a sneeze threatening me. Okay, so I smudged them out on top so you can get a better feel for the undertone, and then here's a thicker swatch down here. So Tower 28, Sephora Collection, and the Freck Beauty ones in three and four. I'm gonna try these three. I already know what the Tower 28 one looks like, but I'm too curious. I'm starting with the Nudist from the Sephora Collection. Ooh, that's exactly what I was hoping for. Like a really nice, cool lip color that kind of contours, but is subtle enough that I could wear anytime. That's nice. Now let's try Freck three and then I'll do four because I feel like I'm gonna end up wearing four. Oh my gosh, this just may be a new lip liner favorite. This formula is so good. Super glidey, but very matte, like a soft matte. It's not like a crispy matte. You know what I mean? Oh, I'm very long wearing, like, that's tough to rub off. Oh my gosh, very tough to rub off. <laughs> Had to rub off my foundation. So last one is the shade four. Yeah, these are super, super on there. <laughs> That's crazy. And then I got two other lip products. I got the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm in the shade Cherry. New lip combo. Unlocked, holy moly. I'm so happy I went with the tinted version instead of the minty clear one. Holy smokes, this with the blush. Holy ma! I'm so happy. Mmm, cherry flavored. Want to taste? I just wiped that off lately because I wanna see what that Freck lip liner looks like with Batty from Freck. <laughs> it looks so good. God, I love lip products. And then I wanna just experiment with this on top of all that. Why not? Even more majestic. <laughs> so 
good. Oh my goodness, I am so excited. The last thing I picked up for makeup was this Sephora Collection Outrageous Plump Intense Hydrating Lip Gloss, and I picked up the shade Fever. And it looks really cute. You can see the shimmer in this lighting. It has like a nice pink kind of golden sheen. Let's see how it is. Ooh, I like the applicator. It's the kind that kind of cuddles your lips. See that? You see that? I like that. I like that a lot. Okay. I'm nervous because I don't think I really registered that it said outrageous, plump, intense. <laughs> okay. So I'm a little bit scared. This is going to hurt. Pretty though. Look at it, like the lip liner does not transfer. Crazy. Just like the tiniest amount of color transferred on the, on the wand, that's crazy. Okay, so we'll see how my lips do with this. I really like it, it looks really nice and dewy on the lip. I like how the shimmer is not like super visible, it just adds to the glow and the gloss of it all. I'm very happy with all of my purchases so far. It kicked in and sh it burns, 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 the ring of fire. It's not like a minty cooling, it's, it's a stingy plump. Not that bad, I've had worse in my life, but this one I feel like is manageable. It's a little bit fun and thrilling. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna give this a moment to heat up and We'll get to the hair stuff. So this thing right here is the main It's Giving Body Medium Hot Round Brush. And full disclosure, I used it once, but that's all I'm gonna say. So while that's still heating up, I have a new dry shampoo to try. This is the K18 Air Wash Dry Shampoo. How to use, shake well, all caps. Non-aerosol format, may feel slightly damp, but will not disturb your style, massage, and brush or style as usual. Okay. So it is wet. I'm curious about this. So I think my hair is in perfect condition to try this out. I don't have any product in my hair. I washed it yesterday and I just blow dried it, but you can see that it's a little bit greasy. So let's try this out. While that's drying or doing its thing, I might as well talk about the other things I picked up. I repurchased this Kerstos Beautifying Detangling Blow Dry Mist. This is one of my favorite leave-in conditioners. And this is something I threw in last second. I realized I needed hairspray and this is my favorite. It's the Moroccan Oil Luminous Hairspray with a strong finish. Oh, wow. It feels dry up in there. I'm just gonna brush through. That's crazy. It doesn't feel heavy or greasy at all anymore. It feels like freshly dried hair but with a little bit of give in volume. Oh my gosh, that is crazy. It does have a little bit of a scent. Oh, my fingers feel powdery. It feels like nothing in my hair. What? That is so cool. I like how it didn't cut like all of my natural hair shine, but all of the grease shine is gone. And you can't see it like gathering up like greasy hair. Cool. So that's exciting, isn't it? I am going to spray a little bit of this just to get like the heat protecting benefits from this. And I'm also going to change my top because you can't really see my hair with this on. I'll do that while this dries. So here we go. I'm going to do my normal curling routine just with a different tool. So with this type of thing, you definitely want to make sure your hair is nice and detangled. So, just going to do this towards my face, not away. This kind of gives more of a blowout look. By using both hands, you can really get the nice curl on the bottom, like that. That's perfect. That's the shape I always look for. I kind of split my hair in my rows of extensions. I have three rows of wefts. They're a little loose right now. I'm going to get them tightened tomorrow. And you wanna have like good resistance, but you don't wanna be like tugging your hair out. You wanna have a little bit of resistance like this, so you're getting all your hairs nice and smooth. 
and then I do twisties on the end. Beautiful. This second piece here, I also curl towards my face. So I kind of roll it all up for a second. And I love this brush because it only goes to medium heat, so you're not going to be cooking your hair off. And it's pretty easy to use. So then with the back piece, I usually take a good chunk. I take the thing, place it horizontally. And then I just roll her up like that for a second. And I usually do it up in the air like this so I can see what I'm doing. <laughs> and then I do a nice little curl at the end. Gorgeous. And I do the exact same pattern if I'm styling my hair with a curling wand. I basically always use it horizontally. That way you get more of like a voluminous style. This is my second time using this thing, but I feel like it's super intuitive. I think this is going to be a game changer for my hair for sure. Like crazy, hey? Moving on up for my last row of extensions, I take some of my hair on my crown and then I just kind of loosely part off kind of like a mohawk section here. Just this middle strip for last. I just clip it away like that. <laughs> and then I pretty much do the same thing. The first piece I, I quarrel, <laughs> I curl towards the front. Like that, that's what I want to see. Oh my God, this thing is awesome. I honestly think I'm in my best hair era right now. I think the color is perfect, the style of the extensions, the cut, just everything. And I'm just having a lot more fun with my hair lately. This thing is just incredibly fun to use too. Now moving on to my last little section here, and I usually do this part in four pieces. So I take the back piece, and similar to my other pieces in the back, horizontally take the chunk, roll it up, and then curl the end like that. And I do the same for this middle piece. And then the front for the first pass, this gets the nice volume. I kind of do the front quicker so I don't completely burn that part because I kind of go over it a few times. Then I take like a little triangle piece like this. It's wild, my hair feels completely clean with that K18 air, uh, air wash, wild. And that's what I look for, this kind of swoop. And I'm done. I just set everything with some hairspray. I usually take up my front like this, kind of give it some air. This way I get kind of like this lift right here. And then I just finish with a lot of hairspray. And that's how I'm going to be doing my hair from here on out. Like this is so crazy. Dear God, I hope my cowlick's not ruining this for me. But this is what it looks like from the back. Hopefully it's good. But the front, holy moly. I think this is my favorite thing from this haul. This is, I love you. This was such a successful haul. I'll go through my top, top favorites. So first being this thing. If you've been thinking of getting a thermal brush, this right here, it's your sign too, because this is insane. I'm also so excited about this. I think I put too much in. I'm going to try to use just a few sprays to see how big of a difference that makes, but this is crazy. Like my hair feels super, super clean. So excited to have this inner tinted red. Same with the blush. I think these are going to be summer staples of mine for sure. And the Freck lip liners, these blew me away. And I'm so happy to have my faves, and I'm so happy to have restocks on my faves as well. The one thing that I'm a little bit disappointed by is the Pat McGrath pink powder. I thought it was going to be much pinker as I discussed at length today, but I was just wanting a little bit more, but I'll still use it. 
for sure. It was really nice and brightening and blurring. But that's going to wrap up today's try on haul. I really hope you enjoyed it. I wanted to say another big thank you to Sephora and Magic Links for sponsoring today's video. I will have everything I used listed and linked in the description, so feel free to check that out, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!